Hello everyone, happy 2023. Hope you had an amazing 2022. And I just wanna say thank you so much for following the channel, for commenting, for liking, for sharing. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. I'm gonna be sharing new content up all these coming months. Please keep me accountable. I definitely want to upload more videos, just being very busy with things. Um, one thing is I'm very grateful for every day, right? Because every day it's a new opportunity. Every day we have the gift of opening our eyes. And I just want to share that with you guys. And also every day is a new opportunity to meet new people, uh, you know, if you have questions, uh, you know, on the videos that you, you see on my channel and you can't figure out, or maybe I went too fast again, uh, I'm sorry for that, but just make sure you come and ask me question. I'll try to reply as soon as I can. And today I want to share something that I feel like a lot of people have tried to figure out, but were not successful or maybe didn't know how to properly do it. So let me show you my screen really quick and we're going to go here. So one of the things is you are familiar with galleries, right? Well, galleries have sliders, but what people haven't pretty much uh, done or use a lot is how to turn your repeater into a, I wouldn't call it a slider, but more like a shuffle in a way that displays different data because maybe you only want to display three items at a time on your screen, right? So, and it, this is a good example. Uh, let's say you're creating a landing page and let's say you have, in this case, we're going to use a real estate website uh, and you have, I don't know, 30 or maybe 20 different properties, but you also don't want to display all of them at once, but you want people to know that there's going to be a few uh, more properties in your, you know, in your other pages. So to keep that curiosity or interest, or maybe uh, you want to make it a little bit more animated, uh, we're going to use a little bit of code. It's going to be very simple. I'm going to show you how to update it, but you're going to be able to see what I just show you right now, which is having the shuffle, the content in your database through the repeater. So it will look something like this. I'm going to show you how you can do it faster, slower. And also, if you want to display a little bit more content, not just three items. But um, again, this is going to be very easy to do. So we're going to go into our editor. Uh, in this case, you should already have a, a, a repeater somewhere in your page. And if you haven't and you're planning to do it, uh, I have some videos that you can go watch on how to add a dynamic page. But if you already have the repeater, all you have to do is literally add the code that I'm going to be sharing with you right now. And then from there, all we're going to do is update everything. Now, don't feel like you have to pause this to copy the code because you can have access to it in my website. Um, I'm going to have a link in the comment, I mean, in the description. And then from there, you guys can go and pretty much copy the code and just update everything. So once you have copied the whole code and we can actually start from the beginning, uh, we're going to create a new dynamic page. So that way you see what it will look like from the beginning. Uh, and if you're an expert or you're ready with the repeaters and you just need to add the code, feel free to skip. So in this case, we're just going to use this uh, services as dynamic page so you can see how it add everything from the beginning and how we're going to be updating the code the times so while this is loading um, again if you have questions make sure you uh, comment if you haven't followed make sure you do and let's get into it so one more time here so this is what it looks like right i just added a new collection and you have your repeater that was created automatically by the system here. Now, again, you can use any type of, of repeater and you can have the, or access to them right here on list. So you're going to be able to find them right here, blank repeaters, or you can use some that, that are already created for you. And then once you have your repeater, you're going to notice there's a 
ID on top of the box. As you can see, it's right here. When you click on it, you're also going to see the ID of your repeater right here. Now, before I go further, I want to make sure that developer mode is on. If your developer mode is not on, most likely you won't be able to see those um, dashboards at the bottom. And what you want to do is just click here, turn on the developer mode. And what this um, part appears, that's where we're going to be adding the code for uh, for this uh, task that we're going to be doing. So all you have to do is delete whatever you currently have there, paste the new code here. And from here, we're going to just update certain things. Once you click on the repeater, you're going to see again the ID. And if your ID has a different name, it could be just repeater one, repeater two. All you have to do is on this section right here, you just have to update it with the ID that you have on your repeater. Or you can also copy this name on the code, whichever is easy for you, and then just replace it with yours. Now, I want to pause for a second. If you hear a little bit of a barking, it's my little doggy sleeping in the back. Bruno, hey, come here. <laughs> Wake up. So... Don't feel like somebody is like in the background screaming or something. It's my little doggy having dreams right now. Anyways, uh, once we did this part right here, we're going to uh, click on top of it and you'll see the errors have gone away. And the other thing that we're going to update is this right here because your collection name might be a different, right? So... We're going to go here on your collection or content manager. We're going to go to collections. And this is the one that we're using. So we're going to click on the three little dots, uh, permissions and privacy. And then right here, we're just going to copy this. So once you copy this item, you're going to go back here on your code. And then you're just going to replace it right there. And once you do this part, all you have to do is click on top of it. You can test everything, see how it works. And then we're going to go here, view the, the page. It should be name services. And then we have it right here. Now you're going to notice it has, it's only showing three items, right? And it's just shuffling the data that it's in the collection. So if you want it to go faster, slower, I'm going to show you how you're going to update that. And also, if you want to uh, change the number of items that is placed here, all you have to do is go back in this part. And right now I have it set to only display three items, but I can change this to four. And then all you have to do is update that right there. And for the seconds, I have it at three seconds. So it will change every three seconds. And this is a uh, millisecond. So that's why it says 3000. So let's say if I wanted to increase it to five seconds, all I have to do is add a zero or update it to the number that you need it and then publish. And now we're gonna go back to here, refresh our page. And as you can see here, now you have four items and it's taking five seconds to update. So that's how you're going to be able to uh, do this uh, task. Again, hopefully this is something that helps you. And if you have questions or you need help with the code, just send me a message uh, on bitso.com. And then that way I can pretty much help you if uh, I'm not too busy. If I am, I'm sorry. Um, I'll definitely get back to you. I promise you that. So let's get this 2023 uh, the best we have. And again, don't forget that everything is possible. If somebody tells you that it's not going to work or it's not possible, just ignore that and try to get it done or find somebody that can help you get it done. So again, Happy New Year and see you in the next video.